A specter is haunting Twitter. The specter of bi-lesbianism. Honestly, I never expected that I'd make a serious attempt at an actual YouTube video, much less that that video would be about internal queer community discourse. <clears throat> I mean, barely any young person outside of the Blue Bird app knows what the hell a bi-lesbian is. So I'll break it down for you. Bi-lesbianism is when someone is both bi and a lesbian at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oxymoron. But it's a serious identity, and not as uncommon as you may think. It has a few definitions. One, one who uses the split attraction model, identifying as, for example, a woman who is a homoromantic but bisexual. Two, one who identifies as both a lesbian and a bisexual due to either plurality, as in being a system whose different identities are either bi or lesbian, or due to being abrosexual slash just having fluid sexuality in general. Three, one who is bisexual, but feels more attracted to non-men or women than men, or simply who prioritizes their attraction to women over their attraction to men. Well, comrades, now that that is all out of the way, let's talk about history. The history of bi-lesbianism is tied closely to the history of radical feminism. In the late 1900s, particularly the 1970s, a rather harmful idea was spreading amongst lesbian feminists. Lesbian separatism. Basically, lesbian separatists argued that the best way to achieve women's liberation was to separate men and women as much as was physically possible. Prior to this, lesbianism, as most knew it, was a far looser label. It could refer to a woman who was solely attracted to other women, or it could refer to a woman who was mainly attracted to women, but who was still involved with men. When the lesbian separatists came along, these lesbian women who refused to give up men entirely were increasingly excluded which is why this is even a separate identity from the regular lesbianism in the first place. They were accused by their comrades of sleeping with the enemy, so to speak. And so the lesbian separatists redefined their own label to exclude those who did not entirely give up men. Remember how I mentioned radical feminism at the start of this section? Oh yeah, the more radical of the lesbian separatists, in fact, most of the lesbian separatists, ended up evolving into full-on TERFs. It's not easy. It's not hard to see how anti-bi-lesbian rhetoric so often mirrors turf rhetoric, and how eerily turf-like most exclusionists start to sound when they rant to you about how harmful your identity is to lesbians, or how lesbians are absolutely forbidden from men, like are the Vestal Virgins or something. Not to mention the exclusionist to turf pipeline. It's sadly not an uncommon sight to see an excluse slowly develop more and more radical opinions before finally renouncing their support for the trans community and going. As a cringy 2016 gaming YouTuber might say, full feminazi. Just take a look at this depressing transformation. Okay, I think I've spent enough time on this subject. Next, my comrades, we shall finally get to the meat of the video. Is there really anything wrong with being a bi-lesbian? Does it really hurt anyone? The answers may shock you. The truth is, no pro-trans, pro-bisexual person should ever be against bi-lesbianism. Yes, none. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being a bi-lesbian. Those who argue it is hurtful are just repeating second-hand turf rhetoric. Bi-lesbians have been around since the LGBT community again, and even though we've gone through so much, including receiving insane and frankly disgusting amounts of death threats for simply identifying a certain way. We're still around and we are never going anywhere. Any supposed harm our existence causes is limited to offending TERFs and TERF-adjacent individuals. If you are an exclusionist and you are watching this video, I commend you for your sensibility. Being able to listen to people defending positions you are against is a valuable skill, and one which is sadly ever so rare these days. I want to make it clear that you are not a bad person for being an exclusionist. You are either indoctrinated this way, you interpreted certain information incorrectly, or you are simply well-meaning yet misguided. I do hope you can take the time to mull over this video and perhaps consider changing some of your opinions on us by lesbians. And to that one person who I know is watching this video, yes, this is me coming out. I'm sorry if my good faith identity offends you. 
If you can't handle me being a bi-lesbian, well, I'm afraid that is entirely a you problem. Not a me problem. I will not change my identity just because you think I should. <clears throat> anyway, this has been a short video explaining bi-lesbianism and why you should support it. I hope you enjoy it, comrades. I wrote this entire video script at like midnight whilst quite sleepy, so it's an accomplishment that I ended up finishing it at all. Now, I'm going to get off my computer for now, and go the fuck to sleep. Das Vidanya, everyone.